Good morning, my loving Tiffany Finks family. That's okay. Amaya's here with her gloves on. She's been helping, like, clean my face and my teeth and my mouth. I'm still on the side to side business. Um, um, I'm okay. I feel like I keep thinking, Tiffany, this time next week, this time next week, it's going to be a lot better. Last night, I slept okay. I had a lot of painkiller. And I, was, I slept well, I slept good. I feel like I only woke up like twice or three times when the nurses came in. Um, I told Amma because Amma came this morning. Matt's coming, I think Amma came around 8 a.m. because she said she couldn't sleep, so she wanted to come here to see me. Matt said he'll come around 10, which is fine. Because uh, to be honest, visiting hours is at 10 o'clock. So I don't know how mum sneaked in. And you know, she's got the We Got This t-shirt on. Anytime anyone sees her, they're like, yes, we got this, we got this. So, Because I, I said to Alma, you don't need to wear it every day. Like, you don't need to wear, the, you can wear whatever you want. And she says no, because anytime she walks around the hospital, people stop her and like talk to her about the T-shirt. Hello. Hi. Hey. I am, um, so last night, my temperature went up. I think it went up to 38.3 was the highest oh, yeah so then my temperature was very very high um, so they were giving me paracetamol to kind of bring it down they're gonna do a chest x-ray just to make sure everything's okay in regards to my chest um, hopefully it's not an infection um, yeah I really hope it's not an infection um, Amma, where's my lemon gone yeah. I like smelling the lemon I think it's just such a... I told Amma to bring this from home and it's nice and cold, so I just like the smell of it. I am... Um, I'm having kind of a weird experience in this ward. And I don't, you know me, I don't like to complain. Um, I, just, I don't want to complain because, you know, I'm trying to kind of get through it, but then to think that if I'm in this ward for the next two, three or four weeks. Um, it's just hard to process that. So I'm, I'm asked the doctor that came, is it possible, like, is it possible to move me to another ward? Like, I don't want to be like that dem demanding patient. Um, and you know, I've always like, it's just, it's just a weird, like, you know what I'm like, I don't never ever complain. I get with it, but it's like dragging me down. So um, I've talked to the doctor, I've talked to the nurse, and they're trying to see if they can move me. I, I understand completely if they can't because there's limited beds. It's like over Christmas, I'm here over Christmas. So I can't be like expecting too much. But I think for my mental health, I need to kind of leave this area. Um, but we'll see. Right now I'm getting like a, like an instant infusion of the saline, then I'm gonna have like a bag of like magnesium fluid. Um, I just, I think they're trying to boost me up because my blood pressure's dropped as well. And I genuinely do think like my mental health isn't good in this area. So if I just move it to somewhere, um, somewhere else, um, it might be better for my health as well. So yeah. Is it empty? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that good? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So it's just like maybe a little bit. One minute. Oh. That's good because it hasn't been empty for a little while. They they did not aspirate you no. mean? Yeah. And they... do you know what? Like I spoke to the doctor, and immediately like I think they understand where I was coming from, and they're moving me to a ward that I've been to before, um, which is amazing because I know all the nurses there and I know I already know what it's like over there I would I don't really want to say anything about this ward because um, for another person this might work for them but with me I'm very like you know what I'm like I don't want to hear about death I don't want to hear about things like that so when the other patients are screaming about it it really messes you up especially at night time so I'm so grateful for that Honestly, within minutes that I got sorted out, like I'm so 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 lucky. 
like, I think they got it because I, you know, I never cry, I never get upset over anything. I come, like, I get on with things, right? Like, I accept things and I get on with things, I don't cry. Like, so for them to see me cry, I think, I think they realised, like, it's messing me up. So, okay, thank God that I'm moving now to, on to better. So I am, I already know I'm going to get better. Because I felt like I was deteriorating the past few days since being here. So, yeah, you girls got this. You got this. Um, um, so the nurses just came and changed my dressings and my stoma bag so I'm all nice and clean. Amma went to have breakfast, she went to have porridge and one of you saw her. Amma, do you yeah. want to say? Another girl coming. Amma, Amma, I think, who is this? Is, 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 is that the name? Yeah, you can. Uh, Nikki, Nikki is coming with her husband. Oh, yeah. so sweet. I love when you guys bump into Amma. Yeah. I love that. So maybe, you know, her wearing the We Got This is a good thing because it helps other people in the hospital as well. Like, it's like mental, like, yes, we got this. But it also helps people spot Amma. That's so cute. I loved hearing when... I feel like most of you see Amma more than you see me. So, yeah, I love that, love that. <laughs> pain management team came in I feel like today I'm because all this time all these days I haven't really talked to you lot a lot I've just been sleeping and not talking so you know what this is progress isn't it I'm seeing it as this is progress um, I'm getting better um, I feel like I'm getting better I think I, as soon as I heard I'm moving to the ward instantly my mood changed and yeah, I'm in a happy, happy, happy place. Amma's all ready to, she wants to brush my hair. I think she hates when my hair is like, you know what I'm like, I don't even brush my hair ever. So she always likes to sort it out for me. But the pain management team, basically what they have been doing since I was, since I came out of surgery, they use this spray. So they spray this on my body, it's freezing. So they spray it just to see if the epidural like where it's cold the most and where the epidural is working the most and yeah it's very like it's very cold spray you guys know when i have a hot flush i love when they use this because i'm like oh, i don't mind use it use it any spray everywhere so yeah <laughs> this is a good spray for that um but i think tomorrow we're going to take the epidural out of my back it's going to come out and we'll just see how the pain is without it. But obviously I'm still gonna have other pain medication, but I've been on epidural for quite a while now. So she she kind of said, should we do it today or tomorrow? I said, let's do it tomorrow. Let's move to the ward. And then tomorrow was like a fresh start. Um, and I wanna walk a little bit more today. So I think I might need a little bit more painkillers today. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be another day. Yeah, Amma is doing my hair. Hair of the day, be careful with my neck, Amma. The wires are still everywhere, but that's okay. What that is, what is that spot? Oh, it's gone. I feel like this morning has been really productive with like, the nurse, nurse is coming in, doing my body, sorting out. Oh my goodness, I saw my stitches. I did, I've seen my stitches. Have you seen it? Because I haven't seen it. I have like, I wasn't, yeah, it's like staples. It's really like, I don't know, is it too graphic to show you guys? Oh yeah, you know what? I show you way, like, I'm not gonna now show you my belly uh, with all the stitches in the stoma bag because I'm not wearing any underwear and yeah, right now we can't have any like, we don't want anything out there on the internet of me without my underwear on because that's not what this is YouTube is about. Um, so yeah, you don't, you know, if you Google, if you really are um, curious to find out, you can Google like stitches with the stoma bag and also a drainage. because I've also got a drain coming out so it's funny it's like a little drain and then in the middle it's stitches and on this side it's the stoma bag and my little stoma is very cute I like the size and I love the shape of it so I'm just kind of getting used to 
everything, just kind of getting used to my new body. So I think I've been kind of very prepared for this and now it's happening. It's like, yeah, it's good. Thank you to all the doctors and surgeons and nurses to prepare me to this point because I feel like if I hadn't gone to those appointments, all of this would be a shock. Can you see the bags there? Yeah. The different draining bags. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a bio bag. Yeah. So I've got this one. This is the bag, a bag here. And all these drainage bags. Hopefully. Yeah, come. Going, to, going to have an x-ray done now. Oh, I have a bit of confusion about the wards and where I'm going first, but I think I'm going... I'm not sure. Bed sheets are all clean now. I think I'm going to the x-ray of my chest, then I'm going to the new ward. So I think that's what they're trying to sort out. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm such a nightmare. I feel like I've caused all this. X-ray done, tick, tick, tick. I'm just gonna have a little snooze before I go to the other ward. I think they're not ready for me just yet. So I'm just gonna have a little sleep here. Very, getting very sleepy. My symptoms of like temperature, very high temperature is like an infection. I think they're thinking it's an infection. So they're giving me a course of antibiotics. I think the lady in my ward I think she also has an infection, so I may have got it like that. I don't know, it could just be getting, like, um, I've been through a lot, so they've put me in a own separate room, I think, until I find they find out why my temperatures are going up and down and then up again. Um, mm, it's a little bit worrying, but there's no point worrying because at least now I'm in a, in a ward that I'm going to be happy in. Um, and you know what? What I've learned from that is if you don't ask, you'll never know. So I asked the doctor, is it possible to move me? He did it within a second. So that's one thing I've learned is sometimes you've got to do what's best for you and not think about what other people think. If they say, oh, no, Tiffany, we can't move you to another ward, that's fine. But at least I asked and now I've moved into a nice place to a nice ward in my own room and hopefully whatever's happening hopefully I just get better and better and better now and I need to stop worrying about other stuff and other parts focus for me is to get better I'll show you the room that I'm in it's so beautiful honestly um, I'm so 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 lucky to be put in this room um, especially like during this time I hope I don't have an infection so it doesn't matter I'm just I'm gonna breathe now and just not think about it too much, but I'll show you the room. So on top there, there's like really nice little artwork, purple. The walls are pink. I've got my medication going through. Mm, let me flip this camera around. You've got Amma here, Amma here. You've got the door, then you've got this area, then you've got a sink area. My own shower room, toilet situation. Haven't had a shower yet. Everything's been I haven't gotten up to have a shower yet or use the toilet because I've got a stoma bag and a catheter so I haven't really done much so not sure when I'll start using the shower room facilities but it's there. And then you've got the beautiful curtain here, my rucksack over here, a little chart here, 
can't really see what's going on here because I'm on my side. Nothing else really here. Light. I feel like I'm in I feel like I'm in a girly room. Do you guys remember what was that funky funky girl? Funky girly. There was this thing I was obsessed with when I was younger. It was funky girl or something. I'm sure some of you will know what I'm talking about. Not if you're younger than me, but when I was younger, it was called something funky. This is that girl, and she was very cool with her, like, cool trousers. And she, was she a doll? Or was she, like, a cartoon? I can't really remember. But that's what this room's reminding me of. Like, I feel like a girly girl right now with my pink gown. And, yeah, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad I spoke up and just asked. I didn't request, I just said, is it possible? And yeah, and that's that. I don't know what's on my teeth. I think it's just all, I did brush my teeth. I just don't know what that is. Matt says, um, Matt just called me and he said he's on the way. So he's missed all this hustle and bustle, going to the x-ray, and seeing all the doctors, he's missed all that. So he's coming at a nice chilled time, which is good. It's very good. Hot flush life. I'm gonna have some coconut water right now. You guys know I love coconut water, so I'm not just getting me a straw for it. <laughs> you got changed. You got changed. You like this bed, huh? Yeah. It's a girly room. It's nice, isn't it? It's a girly room. Yeah, pink walls, pink dress. Nice, darling. And look at my name. Oh, who did that? It's got a heart on it. You did it? I did it. She did it? Yeah, my name has a heart. Nice, darling. Hello. 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 He's sneezing as well. Mm, all the hands are cold, but it's nice. Yeah, is it touch nice? Touch my legs. <laughs> is it nice? Touch my legs, darlings. I need the heat. I need the cold. Can you touch my back as well? Oh, nice. Oh, Sticky. <laughs> I have been... I've been sleeping a long time. Amma and Matt, I think, popped downstairs to get a cup of tea. Like, they left me when I fell asleep. Amma said this is Tiffany. I was just told that in the sample um, it's triggered up that C. diff, like C. diff infection has triggered up and once you've had C. diff it, it's likely to happen again so that's why I'm in an area away from other people makes sense now because it doesn't make sense for me to be moved into a own room space because this is normally kept for people who have infections or COVID, like, you know, so it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Either way, I was going to have to leave that ward. I was making other patients, I would have made the other patients unwell, so I'm glad I got moved. Okay, today's dinner. Of course, I'm still on, like, liquid, so I'm having jelly. And I asked for... I actually am very excited for this. Hold on, let me put this down. I asked for this. I asked for soup. I asked for this. Just just plain tomato soup. Like, just plain. Nothing in it. No salt, nothing. I've got the fan. Um, I've got the fan on. Sorry. I just had, like, my first sip of the tomato soup. And honestly, I'm thinking of the time. Do you guys remember? I don't know how long you've been on my channel. This might have been three months ago or four months ago, but I was making tomato soup and like I was showing you like getting it out of the tin. It was like a Heinz tomato soup can. Then I put it in the saucepan and then I was like, look at me, I'm adding chili flakes into it. As if I was making like a big dinner, I was like showing you step by step. And I think Heinz tomato soup, I think, my Tiffany Thinks family members that live in America, I think some of you actually ordered it. And 
it's not it's not anything special it was just Heinz tomato soup here it's like a little tin it's like 99p but it's so yummy it's so so yummy it's just really nice on when you're feeling when you just want to cuddle that's what I would say Heinz tomato soup for me it's like when I want to cuddle um I've had a rough day don't want to cook and I want something nice and warm if I don't want a cup of tea it would be Heinz tomato soup Oh, also, they moved my cannula down, so it was up there, they've moved it down, and um, so now my pain is coming through this bit, but all the other wires are still in action all over my body. I can't wait for the wires to come off slowly. Um, I think the epidural comes out, so my back wire will come out tomorrow. So that'll be good. Eventually the wires will keep coming off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my soup here. Just enjoy it. Like I'm not even doing anything other than sitting here. Well, I can't do anything, can I? Um, I feel like it's so good for me to have a little bit of a social media detox. I think it's been good for me just I've actually had a detox from everyone, not just social media. I've had a detox from family, friends, Tiffany thinks family, social media, everyone. Just It feels like this is the time where I can't, I have to put myself first. And I'm not, I don't do that a lot. So it's just be nice, just not thinking about anything, not worrying about anything. Of course I'm thinking of everyone I like I'm thinking about everyone so much but times like this when you just need some alone time to recover you're allowed you are you're definitely allowed and if the people that don't understand that and expect your time when you're in a place like this whether it's mentally whether you've had surgery whether you just you've said you need some time if they don't understand that and they're not willing to wait for you after it's fine they're not it's, you can't please everyone that's what I realized you can't please everyone in this world you got to do you do you make yourself happy and then everyone else comes after I know it sounds very selfish and I hate saying that out loud, but if you're not well and you're not happy, you can't give other people the best version of yourself. So even though this break isn't something I would have ever wanted to do, it has turned out to be, it has turned out to be very good for me, just being in my own thoughts. And yeah, Amma and Matt said tomorrow they're gonna bring some cards from the PO box. It's a little bit later. Um, I'm just. Oh, someone's way. <laughs> yeah. It's called aspiration. Aspiration, not aspiration. In the bag first. Through the tube. Through the tube. Through the tube, yeah. Oh, you've not seen it happen? No. Yeah, it doesn't hurt or anything. There we go. <laughs> so then it will. Okay. Do you feel it now? Yeah. It's like, Relieving the pressure in yeah. your tummy. No way. That's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that mad? Just tell me if you want away. to stop. Yeah? Yeah. What's that food? Oh, that's her clear fluid that she was eating for dinner. Yeah. Some of the fluids. Gastric mm -hmm. juice. How nice is that? She Everyone's does. lovely, isn't it? You're lovely. Bye, bye. Love you, bye. Did you see what we were doing on the wall last time? We got this. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah. I need to show them maybe when I come out the ward. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. Good night. Love you. Bye. Yeah. See you. Bye. Yeah. The light okay? Yeah, I will do it. Thank you, Amma. Love you. Yeah. See you. Bye. Bye.
I'm gonna say goodnight as well because that was very sad to see our mom Matt go. I'm gonna say goodnight as well. It's so lovely being here because I know the nurses from the last time I was here. So um, yeah, I'm very, very, very happy. Yeah, I'm very happy tonight. I am very happy. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I've, I've got um, to watch loads of shows. So I've downloaded it. And today's like the first day that I feel like I can watch an episode without falling asleep straight away. I think, even if I watch half of an episode of something, mm, maybe something easy to watch, like too hot to handle. Yeah, let's do that. I just feel like every day I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So as soon as I'm at home, we'll go back to like baking videos and recovering on the sofa and candles, you know, it'll be nicer videos to watch, I guess. But I think you're here for, I don't, I don't think you mind, because this is my life at the moment. And even though I said I wasn't going to vlog and take time off, it's just I can't be away from you. So for me, even talking, even though I'm not uploading on like today and I'm not editing, I'm just not doing anything. It feels like I'm still talking to you. So I don't even know if these videos will even go up. I don't know, but it just feels nice that I feel close to you and that's important for me. And I've always said like this place is for me, it helps me mentally and it helps me express how I really feel. And I feel like no one judges me or thinks of me in any certain way. And I never want a pity party. I just, I just want to be honest and show you that this is like my life right now. And I'm so, so grateful for each one of you for being part of this journey for such a long time I feel like so many of you have been here for a long time because I will see your comments and I can click on your comment and see all the comments that you've left and there's people that have left like 300 comments and I'd be like what like my mind is blown that you've been here for a very long time and leaving me comments and yeah I love you all a lot a lot a lot good night and God bless and stay safe, be happy and be nice always. Mwah.